right so today we are going to talk about vestibulo ocular reflex first of all i will tell you actually this lecture will be having five parts number one what is what is vestibulo ocular reflex and what is its purpose number two what are the neural pathways what are the neural pathways for the vestibulo ocular reflex after that we'll talk about vestibulo ocular reflex now onward sometimes i will call vestibulo ocular reflex i will call it vor so vor in alert person alert person and then i will explain that vor in yes coma toast person coma toast person and in the end i will talk about vor and other neurological lens neurological lens lens right so we are going to talk about vestibulo ocular reflex first we'll discuss what is vestibulo ocular reflex then what is what are the neural pathways which are controlling this reflex path reflex activity and then we'll talk about what is the role of vor in alert person and how is the vor in the comatose person and then vor in other neurological lens so first of all we are try to answer the first question what is vestibulo ocular reflex and why we need it let me tell you one thing as you know that our eyes are our eyes are like movie cameras here we can just imagine take my eyes as movie cameras right and my head as a platform so you can imagine that these two movie cameras are mounted on platform which is called my head right now the important thing is that uh, eyes only make eyes only make a clear image when the image of the object fall on the fovea fovea centralis on the retina right now so it's very important when we want to look at thing clearly the image should be falling only on the retinal fovea or focus on the fovea it means that i as a camera should be focused very well right towards the object but the problem is that that eyes are mounted like camera on the head head is a platform which is mobile head is a platform which is mobile head is not a fixed platform and this creates issues what are the issues let's suppose we just imagine for a while that if eyes are fixed cameras are fixed on the platform cameras are fixed on the platform right then if i'm walking if i'm walking what happens my head is rotating right or left or bopping up and down right. when head is moving if cameras are fixed it's just like that cameras are yes. also moving with the platform yes. do you think then external object image can be focused on fovea properly no no, no. so this is the point first to understand that what is the issue and the, right and how that issue is resolved by vestibulo ocular reflex the issue is that that eyes are mounted on head head is the platform eyes are the movie cameras for example and head is day to day life head is a mobile platform it keep on rotating right or left or keep on rotating up and down right or tilting right and due to this reason if eyes were fixed then whenever head will tilt down eyes will also tilt down right or if i head rotate rightward i will also rotate rightward yes. if i were fixed the issues will be then that let's suppose i'm looking at an object right and my head rotate rightward let's suppose i'm looking at an object i'm looking at my finger and my head rotate rightward if my head rotate rightward and if eyes also rotate with the head then the object or finger image falling on the retina will slip from the fovea yes you understand the yes. fovea was like this right this is a fovea and this is the foveas and if my head move and eyes also move with the head the image will slip on the fovea yes. and it will get blurred and it will get blurred, blurred. is that right yes. 
so then in our natural system this is a very powerful and very very accurate and rapid reflex activity what is that reflex activity it's, I will again explain with the platform head is the platform here are the movie cameras if I'm looking at this finger if head rotate leftward I should I should rotate rightward let's suppose this is the platform if platform rotate leftward then camera should not be fixated as you know if cameras were fixated if platform move rightward what will happen if camera also move rightward then image will not remain fixated on the fovea right so nature has provided a wonderful mechanism what is that the mechanism is called vestibulo ocular reflex that within the head there are motion sensors the platform movement sensing mechanism that is called vestibular apparatus vestibular apparatus which is part of the inner ear vestibular apparatus has sensory system sensory receptors which can detect the movement of the head which can detect the rotational acceleration or they, they can detect the linear acceleration so there are motion sensors in your head so whenever platforms move motion sensors are activated and then what happened motion sensors vestibular system stimulate the nerves which control the extraocular muscle in such a way yes. if, that if head is rotating rightward eyes should rotate yeah. leftward if platform is rotating rightward then as a compensatory movement cameras rotate leftward so that image remain foveated well yes. right. is that right or if head rotate leftward then eyes should rotate right. rightward so that image remains stable on the foveas and this mechanism that movement of the head leads to the movement of the eyes movement of the head lead to reflex movement of the eyes right yes. in such a fashion that movement of the eye is compensatory movement to the head movement how compensatory that whenever head is moved eyes move yes in opposite direction in the same degree so that object remain foveated yes. so image remain clear it doesn't get blur let me tell you a classical example let's suppose you are sitting with your old girlfriend and both of you go okay you are sitting in a stadium watching the ice hockey you're uh, watching the hockey match right and here is your girlfriend and now you are very interested in the match the very good movements going on you don't want to miss split second of the match but your girlfriend as usually they want attention time to time she talked to you so out of courtesy because she is new girlfriend out of courtesy you turned your head to her yes you turned your head to her but your eyes remain fixated on the match so if you are turning head rightward your eyes will deviate leftward while keeping the match activity on your foveas this is what happens when you have a old, old girlfriend but if it's a new new oh no no this happened when there's a new girlfriend my friend if there's an old girlfriend you just tell her please let me see right so this movement that when you are turning your head toward out of courtesy you are turning your head towards your girlfriend but reflex your your eyes remain on the match so head turn rotate rightward right and eyes rotate leftward this is operated by vestibulo ocular reflex that vestibular system detected the motion and moved the eye reflexly vestibulo ocular reflex right another way to explain importance of vestibulo ocular reflex that if you are watching across a street if you're walking across a street and reading the street signs different billboards and other things you are reading them having fun with your life no worries 
and you are just reading them what happens with every step your head is moving but street signs on which you are focusing they remain clear right this is due to vestibular ocular reflex because when your head is moving eyes are making compensatory movement immediately within 10 millisecond it's a, such a brisk reflex it takes less than 10 millisecond that uh, when your head is moving eyes make a compensatory move to keep the uh, image properly focused on fovea is that right how you can learn this importance let's suppose due to any reason due to any reason your vestibular ocular reflex is not working but otherwise in your neurological system is okay and then if you you are walking across the street what will happen that if vestibular uh, vestibular ocular reflex or war is not adjusting the eyes with the movement of the platform yes. then what will happen images will jump right images will jump. jump and you cannot read the signboards because or you cannot read the street boards because they get blurred because again and again they they the image of those board slip away from fovea am i clear yes. is that right so that is why uh, vestibular ocular reflex is actually responsible in it is a motion it is our personal motion off offset mechanism it is our personal motion offset mechanism for the eyes right so again i will repeat it what is vestibular ocular reflex and what is its purpose vestibular ocular reflex is a reflex activity in which when head moves the motion is detected by vestibular organs right and these detect motion detectors through certain neuronal pathway which I will explain lead to conjugate eye movement opposite to the movement of direction of the head but in the same degree so that external world image remains stable on your fovea right if you see if you imagine a man who was walking right and he has a, had a movie camera and if he is walking what will happen as this body will move if movie camera also move you see the movie will jump up and down yes. but for you when you are walking your eyes movie cameras world does not jump up and down why because thank god we have vestibular, vestibular ocular reflex yes. now let's see how it works yes. i will take a simple example if i rotate my head rightward right yes. if my i rotate my head rightward if my vestibular ocular reflex is operating my eyes should reflexly move Left leftward so how it happens right so let me draw the vestibular operators central nervous system connections recti muscles and movement of the eyes right let's start with it like any reflex activity what should be the component there should be a stimulus we'll see what is the stimulus which stimulate the vestibular operators then for every reflex activity there should be a stimulus then there should be a sensor receptor here the receptors will be cristi in the semicircular canal and maculae in the utricle and utricle and saccule then there should be central nervous system connections and then they should be afferent efferent pathway motor nerves which are third and sixth and then recti muscle which are the effector we'll go into detail right now okay let's suppose if i rotate my head rightward what happens right how this system operate this is yeah these are my eyes and uh, let's suppose these are the muscles these are the recti and this is the lateral rectus of left eye here it is left left side and this is the right, right side okay now if these two muscles contract the what is this muscle lateral lectus of left eye and medial lectus of the right, right eye right. both eyes will move conjugately to the left, left side left. and if these muscles contract what is this medial lectus of left, left, eye. left eye and lateral lectus of left, right, 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 eye. Eye. right eye right so if these muscles 
yes. These muscles, what are these? These are basically medial rectus of the left eye and lateral rectus of the right. If they contract simultaneously, eyes will deviate to the right world. Right right. Now, we are taking an example. This example is just to understand how vestibular ocular reflex operate. What are its neuronal system? We are uh, taking this example. If head rotate rightward, how motion is detected in the vestibular system and how eventually eyes rotate leftward. Let's start with it. I will draw the semicircular canal, right? Because when head is rotating, this is a rotational acceleration, right? Now what will happen? I will draw here, yes, semicircular canal. This is right semicircular canal and here I will draw left semicircular canal right now in this semicircular canal this is a bony canal made of bone and within this canal uh, there is membranous what is this there is membranous duct right what is this membranous duct and in this canal Yes, this swollen part of the canal is called ampulla, right? And this membrane is also ampulla, the swollen part of the semicircular canal system. I'm showing this is what? Right semicircular canal and this is left semicircular canal. While I rotate my head rightward, rotate like this. So it means the rotation is going in this direction. And here this is rotation in that direction. Now, how this rotation will produce signals here? How this rotation will produce signal here? Actually, there is a special structure here. There is collection of the sensory cells. That collection of the sensory cells is called, that collection is called Christi. And those sensory cells are called hair cells. So let me show you the hair cells here. That these are your hair cells. right they have one large hair cell this is large one this is called kinocilium and smaller are called stereocilia right and at the top of these hair cells right there is a gelatinous material there is gelatinous material this is like a cap and this gelatinous cap like a jelly this cap is called copula this cap is called copula and what is this? This is hair cell. And collection of hair cell is called Christi. Because it is present in ampulla, this is called Christi ampullaris. Right? Now what really happens that in this, this is very important to understand that here the fluid which is present, okay, let me show this fluid green. The fluid which is between the bone, the fluid which is between the Yes, what is this? Bone. Bone. And I will show it with a slightly different color. Okay, let me show with this color. This fluid which is between the bone and the membranous area, this is called perilymph. What is called? Perilymph. perilymph. And fluid which is inside here, this is called? Endolymph. endolymph. What is it called? Endolymph. endolymph. Now, when head rotate rightward, of course, bony and membranous part are fixed. So this bony and membranous duct, they both rotate rightward. But the fluid is free inside. Because fluid is free, on initial rotation, in the beginning of the rotation, fluid will have inertia. So it will stay at its position. So what will happen? That membranous part will rotate rightward but fluid due to inertia does not rotate with it with the same velocity and due to inertia it stays there so what will happen apparently this fluid moves leftward this fluid moves leftward so this fluid is moving towards the ampulla so this is called ampulopetal movement of this fluid which is endolymph remember membranous what is this 
this is membranous duct outside the membranous duct this is perilymph inside the membranous duct there is endolymph when head rotate rightward horizontal semicircular canal on the right side also rotate rightward but fluid due to its inertia moves leftward relative to the bony and membranous canal and it put pressure on the copula and deflect the copula right and this copula deflect towards the kinocilium direction copula deflect deflect towards the kinocilium so in this case i will show that yes i will show here copula is deflected like this copula is deflected towards the ampulla or towards the this is the largest uh, cilium on this side kinocilium copula is deflected like that when copula is deflected like that that changes the electrical activity in these hair cells this mechanical bending of copula right changes the what is this it changes the activity in the hair cell and they are depolarized they are depolarized so we say when endolymph is making ampulopetal movement towards the ampulla ampulopetal movement copula deflect in such a fashion right copula is deflected and that produces yes more uh, copula produces action deflection of copula produces action potential uh yes actually produces depolarizations in these hair cells and these depolarizations right as these cells undergo more and more depolarization they produce more and more action potentials in the associated vestibular nerve as you know vestibular nerve these are cell bodies of these neurons because these neurons have a peripheral process which are connected with the hair cell and central process which are going to the vestibular nuclei in the brain stem yes. right and this nuclei this uh, ganglion is called scarpa's ganglion what is it called scarpa's ganglion yes scarpa's ganglion so what we can say you move the head yes rotate it rightward endolymph rotates in this yeah. right in the right what uh, canal. canal it when it rotate leftward it produces ampulopetal movement it depolarizes the hair cell that increases the rate of action potential it increases the frequency of action potential in the right vestibular nerve now these fibers will go and get connected with the vestibular nuclei and here is right vestibular nuclear complex okay let me draw it 